Hey, what is up everybody? Avenged here, and welcome back to my Bloodborne Let's Play. So, when we last left off, you guys got an entire episode of me trying to beat Ibridis, the daughter of the cosmos. Uh, <laughs> so, it took me four tries to beat her, that was pretty fun. But now, we are back at the Nightmare of Mensis. Now, first thing I want to let you guys know is, if you, don't, if you haven't seen my uh, video where I ended up coming to the Nightmare of Mensis just to activate the uh, lamppost, is that, um, the, you see those enemies over there on the bridge? You want to want to fight them with fire weapons because if you don't, they're gonna let out these um, these um, while I'm talking, I'm gonna put the fire paper on. They're gonna let out these um, worms that are gonna come out their body. But if you kill them with fire, then you won't have to worry about that. Um, also, I only have 20 blood vials to go through this area because I used a lot of them trying to fight Abridus. That's awesome. And th uh, second thing, uh, the reason why I'm hiding behind these uh, f face rocks is because these, there's a tower over there. It's gonna light on. Uh, it's gonna light up whenever it sees me, and it's gonna cause me to frenzy. So that's why I have. I'm gonna actually put my sedatives on as well. So um, if you're wondering why you're taking a lot of health or t taking a lot of hits while you're going through yours, because if as long as you're in view of that uh, lamp post or that lighthouse, you are going to be taking frenzy damage. So just letting you know. So what you want to do is you want to come around here, run behind here, and get this first. First one to come after you. Hey, hey, over here. Use fire. Oh, crap. Okay, so we got that one. There's one more on the bridge. We kind of want to bring him out. There we go. And it actually does damage to you as you're uh, in its view, so... But they also get frenzied as well, as well, actually, if you look at them. Yeah, he's taking frenzy damage. He's walking back, but I don't want him to walk back. Hey, get over here. Come after me. There we go. At least the frenzy did uh, some of my work for me. Nope. So yeah, you want to take him out of the fire paper if you can. So you want to, uh, there's something over to the right there, but we'll get that after. You want to quickly grab this stuff here and run. There's going to be another one at the end of the uh, bridge, I believe, yes. So dodge it. Oh, no. Oh, crap. This isn't good. Ah, uh, fuck. That worked out horribly. Oh, man, I'm not really good right now. <laughs> Luckily there's not a lot of cutting involved in this, so we're just gonna go right back. Don't wanna use all my fire paper though. Come on. Get over here. There you go. Come on. Get your ass over here. Oh, come on. Why am I having such bad luck with everything right now? Okay, bring the other one over. Hey, buddy, come over here, yeah. Still see me? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Enough. Why? Why are your claws so long? Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. It's been a long day for me. Uh, need to record episode. Sorry if I seem a little bit uh off put by everything. Okay, stop with stop with the frenzy, please. Okay, I gotta get him over here so I don't get frenzied. Oh crap! I don't have fire paper on. Okay, good. He's gone. So now there's going to be more of those rock-throwing bastards over here. There's going to be like two, uh, three of them, I believe, or three or four of them. Ah, four of them. So you want to, uh, and as you try to kill them, they're going to have uh, more of them throw rocks at you, so be careful. Get your stamina back. I'm 
bloodshards. shards. Uh, yeah, those ones. Kill this one over here. Yep, yeah, see. Oh, uh, no, I'm not letting this happen. Fuck. I'm not dying again. I refuse to die again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys. Alright, we're back on the end of the bridge. I decided not to put you through fighting those guys again. So let's just fucking dodge what you gotta do. Take these guys out as fast as we can, even though, my goodness, you're still alive even after all that. Enough in your face. But echoes. Did you drop anything? No. Okay. Fucking rocks. They do so much damage. I got hit directly by one of the rocks and it fucked me up for like life. Hit and run tactics. Guerrilla warfare. Whoop. Nope. Aha. I was able to get the visceral before the rock came and hit me. Dodge. Okay, awesome. So let's grab this item and dodge away. Okay, so now I think this one is just going to straight up trying to hit me. Oop. I'm just going to run by him. Hit this one. No, I needed a visceral. Whoa. Come on, where are you? Okay, that's uh... Ah, oh, so much damage. Uh, kill it with the visceral. Nice. It's now just you, buddy. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, guys. I'm really off today. Usually I'm one time... One time... No, I don't want to do an emote. I'm like killing bosses on the first try, and I'm like... <laughs> oh, today's just been an off day. I apologize. I very much apologize. All right. A lot of bloodstone chunks here, by the way, so... This uh, is obviously an, an end game. You actually get your blood rock to make your weapon a plus 10 if you come through here. So, um... But I'm saving uh, my blood rock for another weapon. That is going to be coming in the DLC. So, uh... If you go through here, arachnophobics, uh, beware. Because you come through here and... Spiders. Spiders everywhere. Um... What I like to do in this area is put on a pebble. And I run straight to the right. There's going to be one right there. Now, if you're playing online, there's going to be the Bell Maiden is going to be right here. So you just got to kill her and stop people from uh, invading your world. But what I want to do is I want to hit him with a pebble. Now, these guys have the same uh, moveset as the spiders when you fight Rom. So if you fought them, then you know how to handle them. Kind of keep your distance and get behind them. So there's going to be one pebble right there, hit him with a pebble. Have him come down and attack you. So what I, what I usually like to do is because sometimes they chase, uh, you can just run away from all the spiders, but sometimes they chase you pretty far and there's a guy on the bridge that I'm going to have to fight which I might end up dying from, considering how bad I'm playing today. Oh crap. So uh, I just want to get rid of all the spiders while I can. Come on. Are you not? Are you not? Are you not? Whatever. Don't fall. What are you doing? Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to, uh... Just get them to come after you, one at a time. So, uh... I'll skip it right here. And then when I'm done with the spiders, we'll, we'll get to where we gotta go. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, all the spiders are gone except Mr. Big Guy here, but he's a too bit of a, um... 
it's too much to handle, really. So what you want to do is you want to go right here and then jump off, immediately run for this item, and then run away because he's going to come after us. Okay, so another hunter fight right here. Uh, flame sprayer and I believe a threaded cane. So, oh no, he actually has the Ludwig's Holy Blade as, long as, as well as me, so he could be a bit of a bitch. And Augur of Abritus, I forgot he has that. Let me heal. No. Oh my goodness. Leave me alone. Come on. Ah. Why does that do so much damage, man? I mean, you use it against other people, it's like nothing. Come on, man. There we go. Die. No, no not gonna die? Okay, cool. Fuck you, stun lock. Oh boy. He's usually an issue for me, so I'm glad I got him on the first try. Get sedatives, gonna need those. Okay. So, what I like to do, these dudes, they don't like, they, they usually don't, okay first I'm gonna go over here. There's an item over here I believe in a chest, yes, 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 yes. Okay, heal the backbone. If if you're not planning on doing the chalice dungeons, um, sell all your ritual stuff. They sell for good echoes, and you get a uh, you know you can level up a bit more. Uh, those of you who are wondering, just in case, this is my level. This is my stats at this thing, level 83. Uh, I'm not sure if it's too high or too low. I'm just going off the echoes that I'm getting off of bodies. Yeah. If you're looking, I actually was able to get the Evelyn. I'm using that now. So these guys do not attack you unless attacked, or one of the bigger ones decides to be a di uh, is, uh, finds you, and then they all start coming after you. But I like to kill them because they give you a little bit of echoes, and you don't want them all ganking you at the same time. So whenever you see them, you can, you can get visceral attacks. But. Since we're here, we are going to activate our first shortcut. One of many, actually, in this place. It's pretty funny. So you go over here, activate this, and then there is actual a lamp post right here. This is our checkpoint. This is the right side that I was telling you about that we were going to come to later. There's more of these, uh, these big dudes. Oh, look at him. And he fell off. Okay, so now there's two more. And you can get found, but they're all slow and stuff, and they like to get found out by uh, the, oh, the Eye of Mensis, so it's called. Okay, enough with your bullshit rocks. I'm not sure if you can get Blundstone Chunks off them, but I can get Twins to uh, bust some Shards off them. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna get hit by the Eye Immensis for a little bit here, but I'm gonna just Visceral attack this guy. Just because. Oh, I'm actually losing health rapidly, holy crap. Ah. Okay, there's an item here, the Eye Rune. And bloodstone shards. I believe that's it over here. So let's get out of this friggin' frenzy meter. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next area, like shortcut areas and stuff, before we end the episode here. So yeah, we come up here. Uh, like I said, you want to get rid of all the little dudes. Just uh. Oh, I hit more than one. Shit. Oh, 
They actually hit pretty hard too, so you want to be careful. Because uh, they will come after you once... Ah, oh, crap. Once you, um, screw it. Once you uh, alert the bigger ones. So coming up here probably will not be much of an option. Unless you kill them. Because uh, new players uh, might miss a couple things, so come over here, you get this, beast blood pellets. So I was watching a speed run actually of this, and apparently the beast blood pellets, once you uh, get the meter up, you can just do like a, a stupid amount of damage. Me, I personally don't use beast blood pellets, but you know, I see wins now for moving. Ah, true, true, true. Sorry, I read it out of text. Uh, so you want to come over here. And uh, there's an item over here, and then you can just drop down. Though those guys right there—that's one of the big guys I'm talking about. You can be, you can be uh, easily parried if you get the right, if you get close enough. So just uh, or not. Oh my goodness me! Look at me, I'm trying to be all. Oh crap! What am I doing, Avenge? What the hell are you doing? Come on! Come on! Give me all my health back, bitch. Oh boy. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be your Sherpa through Bloodborne. And I, uh. I'm, uh. Well, I'm not doing very good at all. See? He's coming after me now. And they like to push you, so don't fight these guys near a ledge, or they don't have your back at a ledge whenever you're fighting them, because they. They can push you off, and it's really freaking annoying. So you're gonna have these guys over here with crossbows. You guys really the little horns have crossbows. So just uh, kill this one here to your left. No. Okay. There's this one over here. Oh crap! I alerted all of them. Nope. I'm gonna get out of here. Get out of their line of sight, and have this guy just come after us. Wow, I forgot they can hit us through shit. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Which way is he coming? Okay, over here. Oh, goodness me. What am I doing? Screw it. I'm falling down a hole, bitch. Okay. Revenge can't parry, apparently. Stop with the crossbows. I'm trying to be a good Bloodborne player. Stop proving me wrong. Okay. You guys didn't hear that, by the way. Okay. Let Elixir over here. And, uh, yeah. So this will lead to our next area. I'm not sure if it's another shortcut or not. Uh, come over here. You want to see the awesome uh, level design of uh, or enemy design in the Nightmare Mensis? There's dogs with bet with there's crows with with dog heads, and then there's gonna be dogs with bet with crow heads. See? Because, why not? It's a nightmare. You never know what you're gonna... You don't know what's actually a nightmare world. So how are you gonna know? So, uh... Am I missing something? There's more down there. Oh yeah, him. Another one. Better crawl out. Come on. There you go. There's, I believe, another dog right there, yes. Shoot it, knock it down, slash it. I think there's another one around here too, yep, there it is. I forgot to tell you guys way early on, if you actually shoot the dogs, it's, it, <laughs> it knocks them down. I feel so stupid for not telling you guys ahead of time, because that could save people a lot of trouble if they don't mind using bullets. Um, so... The boss fight for this, the first boss fight for the Nightmare Mantis is up there. But I'm going to show you this next shortcut. 
just so we can save time and we will start with the boss fight in the next episode so you come down here and you're right back at the lamp all right guys we're going to uh, end the episode here I will go use my blood echoes to level up a little bit and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode bye